Okay, so here's our base mesh. It's three meters by three meters. Let's start by adding an edit poly modifier. Okay, let's select these edges here. Still connect. Still around 25. Okay, and the vertical. Let's go into polygon. And we want to insert by polygon. Okay, this is going to be our maximum diameter. So we just delete those faces. And then we're going to make a copy of this mesh. Okay, now we want to go to border. Remember to select all and then deselect the outer edge. And then we're going to scale that down to the minimum diameter. back to our main mesh and then we want to add a volume select and then a morpher okay so with the first empty we want to pick from scene okay we want that to go to 100 okay now go to create and we can use any mesh but we're going to go for a box this time and go back to our main mesh now select volume select and change that to vertex and then by mesh object now select our new box now select soft select and adjust the fall off so we can see the effect and we can adjust the pinch to get the results we're looking for Okay, so if you move our box around, you'll see how it changes our mesh. So if you want to, you can copy the geometry to you know, have the effect on different parts of the mesh. And we can adjust the strength of each area independently. Okay, now go to Object Properties. And we want to make sure it's not rendering and it's see-through. Okay, now go back to our mesh. We want to add a shell modifier. Okay, now make sure the inner is about 20 and the segment's at 3. And now we add a turbo smooth and make sure that saturation is at least 2. And there you go, Bob's your uncle. So now we can dynamically adjust the perforation across the mesh. And there you go. It's done.